course, when this uh, data collection is going on, perhaps the owner is standing by. And uh, then uh, the respondent, when was, uh, he or she was asked the cast, uh, they were very fidgety to disclose cast. And uh, of course, the enumerators were trained to uh, uh, make sense of such situations. In that case, I mean, they would say some other cast than the one that which, to which they belonged. Uh, and then when the enumerators felt something was fishy, they would just take them inside the house and in private ask them, what is your caste? Then they would say they belong to one or the other Dalit uh, segment. Uh, the few, why they were not, uh, why they were reluctant to state this upfront? Because when they rented the property, they would have said they belong to a caste which is not Dalit. The reason being, if I'm a Dalit, I can't rent that. They would not have allowed me to rent that premises. So they would have said, uh, stated some other caste, and in front of the landowner, they are very fidgety about this problem. But when they were taken inside, they would say, uh, I'm such and such a caste. Anyway, this is besides the point. That was one other disturbing aspect I came across, which I thought I'll share with you. The point is, the general point I'm trying to make, this sort of falsification of data was done by about 60 to 70 percent of the respondents. Not one or two people here and there, but this is a widespread phenomenon that I heard from the enumerators uh, with whom I interacted. And I interacted with a large number of enumerators. So if this is the situation prevailing in our society, These are the values that we embody as a society. Then the question arises, what are the roots of all the malice we talk about in public life, in politics? In Bangalore city, I'll give you another example. Today, 95% of the houses and other properties built have building and other violations. This is 90. 5%. When I was growing up in Bangalore 20 years ago, and if I look back now, those days I didn't observe, but if I look back now, in uh, retrospect, I can say 90% of the houses built 20 years ago were as per law. In a matter of one generation, in a matter of 20 years, between these two, the, the intergenerational gap, we have gone from a certain situation to a certain situation. Today, 90 to 95 percent of the houses built in Bangalore have violations. Now, if this is the prevailing situation, we, I do not know whether the <coughs> chicken came first or the egg came first. Whom do we chase? So, where are the roots of general maladministration, malgovernance, corruption, all these issues, where are the roots of all these? So, these are the questions that arise in my mind. And of course, if I as a politician if I say that the roots of corruption are in society, all of you will pounce on me, uh, saying uh, you are, uh, I'm not absolved, trying to absolve myself. I'm not trying to absolve the political class. What the point I'm trying to make is that in a matter of few generations, we have seen a change that is perhaps not in the best interest or perhaps not in the right direction. Of course, this is just the information that I wanted to share with you. Now, what do we do about it is another question, a much larger, more challenging question, which I will not address today, because I just wanted to share. So these are also some of the experiences, but a lot of these experiences do not get reflected in a lot of public discussions, public debates.
debates we have about public life. So these are the experiences that people on our end, at our end, we notice in our uh, society. So I think if we were to have debates, discussions with more nuanced data, more nuanced experiences, the whole debate on public life would be much richer. But oftentimes, we take propositions in vacuum, in isolation, and we take them to be true, and then we debate on the basis of those. But what I just shared with you, these are also true. These are also sets of truths in our society. So if we want to tackle these problems that we often keep debating about, we must take note of the changes that are happening in our society. Only then we can move forward. So those are my thoughts. Thank you. If you have any questions on this, uh, get back to us.